This is a clip from the Canon Podcast. To hear the full episode and get access to exclusive benefits, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Canon Pod and sign up for just £3 a month. Now let's talk about a player that I'm sure George will love to talk about. Uh, Arsenal been linked to the transfer for Usman Diomonde of uh, Sporting Lisbon. Uh, played against Arsenal last year in the Europa League and had a very impressive second half of the season, having signed for them in January 2023. Has had a good start to the season as well. He's an Ivor international. Uh, able to play on the right hand side of the centre back or as a, obviously right back as well potentially so George this is your player you've pushed for him so much and now the links have come out you know you've manifested Declan Rice <laughs> is this the new manifestation is it <laughs> doing one day is the next one let me just get Mikel on speed dial and you know get another way to inflate my ego uh, no, uh, look this this boy is uh, is brilliant he he's my favorite center back prospect on the market i was so upset that we didn't pursue him um last january when we could have got him for six million pounds i think it was a really poor decision it was somebody i think as a center back what you're what you're looking at with him is that kind of lighthouse profile that kind of aura that you get when you look at somebody who's in control of his space and somebody that you would fear as an attacker coming up against. He's somebody that's versatile, left center back, right center back, central center back. He's played it all. He is dominant with his right foot, but he's so ambipedal that he can open up and play with his left foot at will. Um, He's got this brilliant ability to bait markers. And that's what I love. When I look at a William Saliba backup or somebody that can give me some of what William Saliba does, the one question I always have is, how is that center back able to bait opponents to kind of allow pressure to him and then switch quickly or find a pass into the center of the pitch? And this is Diamande's strength. Not only that, he's just a really dominant physical player that both aerially and in duels, he's imposing. Um, He's got brilliant recovery pace. Very little weaknesses. Like when I look at him, he's one of those complete prospects that I do think in time, because he's 19 years old, he will be one of the best defenders in the world. And I think that for me, it's a case of snapping up this talent before others do. And my nightmare is that Newcastle United are smart and use him to complete the back line with Lewis Hall, um, you know, Botman, Diamande, and Livermento. That would be my absolute fear because I can just see this boy being pursued by the big clubs. And while we are a club that are rife with center backs, I almost want to get him so other clubs don't. And I do think that he has the potential, by the way, to challenge very severely the starting positions. And uh, I maintain what I said. I think he can be one of the best center backs in the world at his prime. And I think that type of talent could work yourself into the 11. And I just think he gives us a level of security that we would have the best defensive back line in the world, in my opinion, like Diamande, Saliba, Gabriel, Kivior, um, Zinchenko, Ben White. Like, is there somebody with better defensive depth than that? Tom Yasu, Tierney, on low. Cedric Suarez. Yeah, of course, him. (laughs) Uh, You know? So, yeah, it's it's definitely a player I believe quite a bit in. The only drawback is he's very expensive. I mean, he's got an 80 million euro release clause. um, Get the money out, Stan! Yeah, that's always fun to deal with. But um, I do think that he's kind of a player that I think everybody will love um, in terms of his commitment to the cause, his mental ability. And he's got um, this leadership potential that is always very exciting in center backs. And you just you look at him and you're calm when there's a one v one. There's an inevitability to him taking the ball from you. That security, that feeling that you get from your William Saliba is something I feel with Diamande. So I would be really happy if we got him, obviously. And of course, my juju round two would have worked. Can I just I mean, say it, two things? On. One, he passes the name test. Massively. Massively. <laughs> and two, having having watched him on FB Ref and looked at a two-minute YouTube comp of him, if we don't get him, that is a failure and I want the board and a manager <laughs> to go. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the Canon Podcast. To get full episodes and access to exclusive benefits, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Canon Pod and sign up for just £3 a month.